My name's Roland Hernandez. I'm the founder of the baseball bat company named Rock Bats. Uh, Rock Bats is a company that I founded when I was still a research engineer with the Forest Products Laboratory. Now it's not just a company owned by my wife and I, but it's actually owned by several owners. The other arm of the company is the manufacturing aspect. That's a company in Anago, Wisconsin. It's a company named Zelozowski Wood Products. And then we also have a, a, a retired Major League Baseball player that is also part owner of the company. And he does all of our product testing. So we feel that we've got three different arms in our business that cover all the bases, so to speak. I'd like to explain some properties that are pretty important in making baseball bats. Number one property that really drops strength tremendously is the slope of grain. How straight of grain is in that bat? So when you're watching a, a game on, on TV and you see a bat flying into the outfield or into the infield, you're typically going to see this kind of oval failure. What I have here is basically a log of hard maple, sugar maple. And what I've done here is I've actually cut it up, very similar to how it's cut up in the sawmill. And they make a first cut, and so they open up the face. And from there, they can then tell what quality of wood do they have in this log. And their first cut is always trying to be very parallel to the outside bark. Their next cut is a three inch cut, slightly over three inches. And so then they have a large slab that looks just like that. What they then do is then they have to cut squares out of that plank or out of that first cut. And then you can go on and take a square like this that would be perfect and convert it into a round. So that's a round billet is, is what it's called. And then you do a first cut on the lathe. And you have something like this. And so you can see the end chucks. Those are called end chucks on the end there. Chop it down and we, we're, we're the first stage of making a baseball bat. What has been adopted by, by the professional leagues this year is to start putting a dot of ink right at the 12 inch location on the handle. And the reason for that is because that would allow a person, whether it's an inspector, a player, a coach, uh, to come in and inspect that ink spot. When you put ink on the flat grain face of the, of the wood, that ink is gonna bleed along the length and so for this one here, if you have straight grain wood, that ink is going to bleed in the direction of the, of the dowel. And this is representing the handle of a bat. And the other dowel that we inked represents a bad angle of grain. And so that should fail like the slope of grain failure we've been talking about. So this, by looking at that ink, an inspector could come into a bat and say, that is, does not meet the regulations. If that bat breaks, or if and when that bat breaks, that's going to break by slope of grain. If and when this bat breaks, that should fail by, by rupture. And we can show you how that's happened. The dowel that we have here in the setup is the, is the one we just inked. And it has a very severe grain slope. So this here is a very weak piece of wood. And if you take that and it, it gets hit in the handle by a baseball, you're going to have a failure that most likely will separate into two pieces piece of wood is supposed to be straight, straight grain, that again we're going to do the same test and as I mentioned this should be a rupture failure and it didn't take me very much to break the other one but if I really hit on this one that is a rupture failure. So the rupture failure I show you there, I really tried to break that, is analogous to the rupture failure that you have in a, in a baseball bat. That is the difference in performance between straight grain wood and slope of grain wood. You need to have straight grain wood and you'll get this kind of performance. Let's start talking about improving the performance of hitting a baseball. The number one factor by far for hitting a baseball faster or further is bat velocity, bat speed. And so if you can get that bat around faster, you're going to get more ball velocity off the barrel of the bat. And so what we designed is, is a baseball bat, it's a laminated bat that improves bat speed for the player. And how do we do that? Basically, we laminated a bat that uses the straight grain wood that we've talked about before for solid wood. Now all the planks are straight grain, but what we've done different to engineer some performance into this is the core of the barrel is made out of basswood, which is a lightweight wood, and so what we're doing in essence is lightening the weight of the barrel 
and that basswood reaches up to about here in the bat. And then from here to the handle is we use hickory. So the core of the handle is made of hickory and what that does is it gives you a stiffer handle. It's gonna be even stronger than the straight grain wood that we just showed you. You take two bats that are exactly the same shape and weight. One is solid wood, one is this laminated design. This laminated design will outperform it because you can get higher bat speed and you have a stiffer handle. And it's stronger as well, much stronger than a solid piece of wood.